Dante, you gotta be kidding me! Welcome back to another edition of Dante's 12 Winter Bust Arena Playthrough. That's right, I look good. I feel good, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Um, one interesting thing I do want to point out is um, this is a rogue. Now, I have recently been absolutely terrible playing with rogue. I, I don't really, I don't know. I It's rogue generally is more tempo. I like to be more of a grinder, if you will. Um, and I don't know. For some reason, I just was not able to do well with rogue. But here I am, 11 and 2, and... I the the one I lost one that I shouldn't have lost. I it was like if I had like three more health I would have won and I think the other one was really close that I lost. So all the matches I won uh, except for maybe one were not really close. I just sort of was ahead. Uh I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I know I look good and everything, right? But this deck looks terrible to me. Like, if I if I look at this deck and I'm like, this looks clunky. There's no synergies. Why is it working? All right, so Cold Blood. Is Cold Blood good? Well, it depends on what kind of deck you have. In this deck, I don't think it's good. Hallucination is good. I mean, it helps with comboing, but, you know. Uh, Journey Blow is good. Again, it helps with combos. Gives you some added stuff. Young Priestess, I think, is okay for this deck. But, again, there's a lot of mages. There's a lot of one attack heroes that destroy this betrayal is pretty good eviscerate obviously pretty damn good uh fallen sun cleric is okay i've got a lot of young priestess and uh fallen sun cleric friendly bartender pretty good actually more so with rogue than a lot of other classes jade shuriken can be good twisted Morgan's pretty good and venom weapon is okay but i don't know hard gun i like hard gun a lot injured blade master I don't really like particular in this deck. I have three. Three Mimic Pods. And I've made it to 11 and 2. This is not a good arena card. At least I don't think it is. Shadow Blade, awesome. Shadow Blade might be the best card I have. Shadow Blade is really good. Makes your hero immune. Shadow Blade, very good. Shadow Blade with Runeforge Haunter, surprisingly good. Now, and I've got that combo a few times. So you play Shadow Blade on three, Haunter on four, and it just sort of spirals. It's pretty good. Squid Face is pretty good. Bomb Squad I've used is okay, but again, this is more of a tempo play, but generally it's pretty good. Scalebane, really good, but this deck, I don't have that great of minions. <laughs> Corpse Razor can be good. Most stuff, it's actually pretty bad in this deck, to be honest. Corrupted Healbot, again, more tempo play is pretty good, but you know. Uh, Ethereal Peddler, really good. Vile Sign Slayer, really good. Argent Commander, pretty good. Bone Drake, pretty damn good. Bone Mare, obviously really good. Tortolan Primalist, not great. Not that great with Rogue. However, I have gotten twice. Um, oh crap, what the hell is the name? The, what, the card, the seven mana card that draws four. I forgot the name of it. Uh, so, I mean, that's good if you're, if this is your last card. But you're not always guaranteed to get that. A lot of times you're guaranteed to get some sort of damaging spell. And because this is random targets, you can hit your own self. So I don't know why this deck is this far. I don't think this deck is very good. Um, I don't even think I'm playing particularly well. I'm just playing like normal. I don't know. Let's see. I have one shot. I have one opportunity at the final boss. Let's go. And hopefully because I look so damn good. That I'll win. Ah, oh. Whew. Ooh, man, this is rough. Look at that. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Alright. I face a lot of priests, too. Now, priests, if you can get ahead on board, you can win. So, you know, throwing all this away. And I don't know how many times I've gotten Mimic Pod into Mimic Pod. I, it's happened at least three or four times. So this is quite possibly the worst starting hand I could possibly get. Uh, if I don't, this is better. Might even need to go for that, but I can reduce it by two, maybe clear up something. I'm gonna go for Holy Fire. I don't, I actually think that might be wrong. I should probably go for the three, three, because I have nothing. 
Hey, McPod, you're such a jerk. <laughs> Taunting me now. It is dinosaurs, huh? Okay. Kinda wanna hit into it. I'm gonna hit into it, just in case. Could be some sort of buff potential thing here. That could be pretty rough. It sort of makes them have to bash into it, I think. Or heal, or lose a turn, or something to that effect. I think hitting in is also really good because they have the uh, the immune card or whatever. <laughs> of course. Uh, not bad. This is actually really good for this particular situation. Like really good. So. This might even be the perfect card for this particular situation. Coin into what? I think I'm going to play this. This buffs this up. They kill this. I can buff that up. I think this is the right play. Or I can sh holy fire. So either way they kill it, both should die. Even if they heal. We'll see. This could be a disaster. I don't know what they have, obviously. That's the card I was afraid of. Ah, I knew it. Which one they gonna go for though? They should go for this. Well, actually, you know, I don't know. It's actually kind of a tough situation for them still. What do they go for? <laughs> Ooh, oh, interesting, huh? Not so easy now. That's actually this is actually a tough decision. I'm not sure. I I think you kill that and you kill your own minion here. I think that's what you do. You make sure neither is alive. I don't know if I agree with this. You would sort of have to bash into that. I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't agree with that play, I don't think. So. Bone Drake. Uh, is Bone Drake good? Maybe more health is good. I think actually this is better. Because I'm getting the buff. I think this is better right now. I get a little bit more health. Maybe not as disastrous. I do have a Mimic Pod plus Holy Fire or something. I could have not lose my durability and keep the three attack, which is... Pretty useful, actually. Uh, eh, no big deal. If I take six. I think I do. I have five healing. I think I can stay on the board here, take six, maybe not lose my world. So that dies. Um, obviously, there's one card that I would not be happy, but it'd be our, their whole turn, so it's not as terrible. It still sucks. Uh, that's not it. So, that's fine. Um, doesn't bother me at all. Just keep attacking. 
four, five. That doesn't lose to five. Buff that up, do extra damage. Okay, I'm doing all right. Holy Fire is sort of a huge deal that I have this, actually. I can still keep going for damage. They don't really have a lot of damage. Now, whatever the potion, uh, Dragon Fire potion doesn't really affect my board as badly. It still sucks, obviously, but because this is a Dragoon, it's not going to destroy my world. Mimic Pod, huh? <laughs> Mimic Pod's such a jerk. Right, I'm gonna go for damage here. Alright, so this is setting up lethal. This is setting up lethal. In a lot of ways. So even if they have a taunt, I think I won. I don't really know what they can do here. They can't Deathwing, they couldn't do any of that. Uh, they need Holy Fire into Death or something. Holy Fire into Death in for, yeah, they would, because then I would have seven plus five, yeah. So they would survive from that, but they now can't do that. Uh, I think they're dead. I don't know what they can, any taunt gets destroyed by this, this card, Essentially made me win this match Because I had just infinite stop infinite kills here Well played indeed, baby. That's what I'm talking about Yes the damage to the faith face I want a mimic pod again. Oh, that's some dirty business. Let's just crush their soul just a little bit. Boom. Eight over. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme. Uh, uh. Feed me. 12 wins or bust. Did not bust out of this. 12 and 2 for a deck that I don't think is great. <laughs> I don't really understand. Uh, I'll take it, clearly. I'm taking it. Uh, I don't know. I just did not think this deck was very good. Uh, I didn't have a lot of removals like I expected. Pretty good rewards. This is probably the best. This might even be the best I've ever seen. <laughs> Actually. Um, wow. I have 400, two packs. That's like the best I've ever seen. Okay. A weird pack here, but, you know, still best I've ever seen. Doom. Wow. Throw throw. Nothing but net. No, I'm glad I won. I'm very happy I won. And because I'm happy I won, I'm just going to draft. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to draft an arena run here. That, just to see my process of drafting, which is not optimal. All right, I'm just pointing that out right now. I played Rogue as sort of, not as a joke, but as just like to see, oh, can I, do I still suck with Rogue? I still don't really understand how I won, but yeah. I'm not gonna pick Road again. Again, I'm gonna pick. Uh, man, I really don't like playing Paladin because it's like if you don't get Spike Rich Steed, it's like no, well, you lose. So I'm gonna go with Warlock. I love the hero power. Let's do it. Uh, let's take a Ray Bruiser. I mean, I, I generally think I'm gonna be behind. Got to get some health. I can hero power for free. I can hero power for free. Death Speaker, you almost always have to take. Nesting Rock is just tremendous. Blast Crystal. Get dead. Sunwalker, just the best card there. I like Devil Sword. I do like Devil Sword. And because it's so early, and this is how I play, I play for fun. I try to play for fun. I mean, obviously, I'm not trying to lose, but I play for fun. So Devil Sword, I like it. 
two devil swords, huh? Or unwilling sacrifice. Or defile. Defile is really good. I think I have to pick defile. Defile is really good. Nerubian Prophet, just really good card to get early. Two Nerubian Prophets, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna take, I'm gonna gamble. Uh, <laughs> uh wow. Uh Commando, I think, has gotta be the pick here. Go Void Walker. Bosun Healer. Mm. Bog. Uh, I don't know. That was. I accidentally picked Rigel. I didn't want to pick that. That was not the right pick there. Uh, my hand is very cold. I get to destroy my own minion. I think Kuki is still better because I can destroy my own minion. Oh, man. Doom Guard. Gotta pick him. Two Defiles. Corrupting Mist might not be bad for some of my cards. I like Validated Doomsayer. If you can get that on board without just, like, dying quick, I think you're doing all right. The Volatile Elemental is... <laughs> two eggs. Let's do it. <laughs> um... They're both okay, so three, five, four, six technically of stats. That's a taunt. Is taunt good? Taunt is cheat. We'll go taunt. River Croc. Fallen Sun Cleric, very good for my eggs. And Bane of Doom is actually. Do I have any end of turn effects? I think so. Bane of Doom is okay. This deck. I messed up picking Vrygrol. That was actually... That could be a huge deal. <laughs> that sucked. That was a big accident. Uh, Blast Crystal. I could have picked two Blast Crystals. I don't have too much removal. The good thing I picked up uh, Defile and then, of course, the second one. Um, yeah, I don't have too much removal. So that's a problem. And I don't think I have uh, early enough or even late enough to win a slow game. But maybe my hero power can bring me through. I don't know. This looks like a six win Type deal for how I play. But Devil Sore Egg, let's do it. I'm into it. I hope you enjoyed this one. 12 wins. I'm excited. I look good. I feel good. Let's do it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I will be back.